Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to another Sophisticated Saturday where together we work through my to-do list and get things done around the house. You'll see I'm starting off in the kitchen today, one of my favorite places to start just because I love cooking so much. And what I'm doing is a lot of prep because I was filming this the day before I was going over to some of my in-laws and relatives house for a party and they had me making appetizers for the party and there was like 20 plus people there so I decided to make a couple of different appetizers one is a mozzarella and garlic caprese dip it has tomatoes in it I'm adding fresh herbs to it as well I'm starting off by roasting garlic and shallots in the oven just leaving the skins on I kind of debated there for a moment taking the skins off of the shallots or not because I've never really roasted shallots this way but they worked just fine with the skin on and I'm just trying to get done as much as I can the day before because both of these appetizers should probably be made right before I don't think they need to be necessarily still like boiling hot or anything but they are warmer appetizers so I'm trying to get the prep work done and get the garlic roasted and get it all ready before it goes in the oven and before the second appetizer is fried. I'm making a corn wonton. They're both kind of summery appetizers I think. They sounded great. They're both from one of my favorite places to find recipes, Half Baked Harvest so I will link in the description box below the links to both of the recipes. They were hits with everyone. I will say the crowd favorite was probably the mozzarella dip. The wontons were also delicious, but the mozzarella dip for sure was the winner. You'll see I'm kind of mixing steps with both of these, but I'm trying to get the filling ready for the wontons. And then tomorrow I'll do all of the frying of the wontons and just simplify my life a little bit. I am adding in cream cheese and all of the other cheeses. There's gonna be some fresh basil in there as well as fresh corn, which really makes it. You don't have to cook the corn in advance. I did look that up because it just said corn and I wanted to double check and make sure it didn't need to be cooked corn. And then it was just raw, fresh corn and it was perfect when it came out in the wontons.
The wonton recipe had two different sauces with it and I was trying to debate if I should make one or the other and of course I decided to make both. I always am the person that just overdoes it. I would much rather have overdone it and have more food and extra sauces and go over the top than underdo it and kind of disappoint the crowd and have us run out of food and run out of appetizers. And I didn't have any extra information. I didn't know if I was the only one making appetizers or if anybody else was gonna make an appetizer. I was the only one making appetizers. So I'm glad I did make a lot of food and glad that I made two because it's kind of nice just to have a few different options. Although the flavors in these two are a little bit similar. So if I was thinking about it a little more carefully, I probably could have just decided to have a variance more of the different flavors that I was using. And also they're both pretty cheese heavy, so I probably could have differentiated a little bit more that way too. Don't know how it feels to be someone you love and it gets me down. I let it slip so much. Mm -hmm. I let it slip so much. Start the music, kill the silence Let my mind rest Pour a drink cause it's effective Can't seem to get my head around Why I left you And no, I don't like to be the bad guy You know I don't lie I really miss you now it just seems like there are so many moving parts in this kitchen and that is why I'm doing that prep in advance, especially with a one and a half year old around. I only have so much time to get stuff done every day. And I did finish up the filling that's gonna go in the wonton. So I put a top on that and you'll see in the corner here, I am making one of the sauces. There was one sauce that was a soy sauce based sauce and the other sauce was ketchup and chili like sweet chili sauce that you can buy it's pre-packaged and mixed those together with some mango in it i don't really know which one was my favorite i kind of liked alternating between the two of them but they were both great so if you do try this recipe i can't honestly pick which sauce i preferred but i know jim preferred the soy sauce one if that helps at all Never had to ask, I'd set the world on fire just to get it back. Don't know how it feels to be someone you love. Now back to the other side of the kitchen here. This is where I'm working on the dip. So I have my garlic and shallots out of the oven now. It's cooled for just a little bit. I could have let it cool for a little while longer so it was easier to handle because we need to get that garlic out and we also need to get the shallots out and get those smashed up. I'm also measuring the tomatoes. There's gonna be some tomatoes that go in there and roast and get nice and squishy in the oven. They are whole, you don't need to slice them or anything in advance and then I'm just adding a little bit of seasoning there tossing those back in the oven and heading back to my garlic and shallots and just mashing those up 
The garlic slips out so easily. If you've never made roasted garlic this way before, you have got to try it. All you need to do is just add your olive oil to a head of garlic after you cut the top of it off, roast it in the oven until it's nice and golden and soft. You could spread it on bread and oh my goodness, it is delicious. And I think that's part of what makes this dip so good is that it has just a ton of roasted garlic in it. And those shallots were really good and easy as well. So maybe if you're gonna make a roasted garlic dip, add a few shallots in there and mash those up. They mash up beautifully just like the garlic. Just peel off that outside layer, take a fork, and you're good. While the tomatoes continued to roast, I was getting the rest of the cheese and ingredients that go into the dip all combined into a little bowl there. There's lots of cheeses, more fresh basil. And then once the tomatoes are done, I can take those out of the oven and I mixed all together. It's said to gently fold them in. I kind of found that I preferred when the tomatoes burst a little bit. I realized that they were large and whole and when I was going to bake this in the oven tomorrow, because that was my plan, leave it like this and then bake it right before we left. When I was gonna bake it, if you scooped up with a cracker or something or a little baguette, one of those whole cherry tomatoes and it was hot and it burst in your mouth, that would not be fun. And I kind of prefer the flavor mixing around a little bit more. So I purposefully hit a few of them with my spatula and burst them. And then the last step was to put a layer of mozzarella cheese on top. I would also probably skip this just because it made a harder layer to get through to get to all of the rest of the flavors of the dip. So maybe skip this part. And like I said, this dip was the crowd pleaser. You'll see I'm getting that second sauce that I was talking about ready by chopping up some mango and happened to have some fresh mango. I might've skipped this if I didn't already have fresh mango at home. Then once I get that in the bowl, I'm adding the prepared sweet chili sauce, a little bit of ketchup, and that's it. It sounds like such a gross combination, at least it sounded gross to me, but it tasted delicious with those wontons. And I tasted it and was kind of pleasantly surprised even without the wonton. Okay, we're done in the kitchen. I've done all of my meal prep for tomorrow's big event. I am now cleaning up some of the house. The living room always needs to be picked up from toys everywhere. Easy to pick up, it doesn't take that long, though it looks like a disaster every time I start. Sometimes Saturday rolls around and my office isn't perfectly clean from Friday. And today was one of those days, just needed a little bit of light pickup. I had a few things around and I like to clean it up as much as possible so I can start the weekend off with a clean office. I do spend a lot of time in here even on the weekends just because I'm running a small business and am recording videos or working on shipping out orders from things that people purchase from my website. So it gets a lot of use regardless, but it is split in two sides and one side I use for my day job, which is the side I'm on right now. So the least I could do is get that side cleaned off for the weekend. I just want it to be me. I want to say. 
As I'm sure you may know, I am on a decluttering mission right now. I'm trying to work through some of my essential oils specifically because I'm really bad about using them up. And I had two that were basically empty. I was just gonna combine the two scents there in my diffuser that I have not been using often enough and get that going in my office and get a little scent. And also might as well take this opportunity while things are cleaned off pretty well to wipe down the whole desk. I have lunch in here Monday through Friday. I eat at my desk while I work. So sometimes crumbs get there. And then as I'm creating label orders, there's sometimes little sticky things that get on the countertop. It just needs a clean usually once a week or so. Upstairs, I am using a new jar for my makeup brushes because something happened where my other one just randomly snapped this morning. So I found an old jar that I had switched it over, threw away the one that was broken. I need to clean up the bathtub. I need to clean up the bathtub. Just a lot of things out of place this morning and I'm going around and quickly picking it all up just to make my space feel a lot better without spending a ton of time. I know things are sped up when I do these videos and I get comments a lot like, you've accomplished so much in one day. I can't believe you got all of that done. And it really doesn't take me that long to do all of this. Typically, I try and get as much done as I can while Owen naps doesn't give me much more than two hours maximum, sometimes less than that. So I am just rapid fire running around the house, cleaning up as much as I can. And then after that, I'm typically just enjoying my Saturday, enjoying my weekend. There are some little things I do here and there throughout the day. Like I'm gonna put dishes away in the dishwasher after I use a dish, or later tonight we might have clean dishes to put away or Earlier before I start a video, there might be a load of laundry to switch over like this. I had run the load of towels earlier in the day. So it's not just confined to what I'm filming or just confined to nap time, but the real hustle is usually about an hour and a half. I don't mind telling truths when you need to hear them and be kind when that's what you prefer. I keep thinking it'd be fun to film a video specifically of what I do to quickly get my house in order, what you do when everything just feels like a mess. Maybe you have guests coming over quickly, just that type of cleanup where you want to go really fast and have a huge impact and you go room to room to room, do the bare minimum, maybe wipe off a surface or two put things away, get them off the countertops, get them off the floors and make a huge impact in a small amount of time. So I'm still playing around with maybe filming a video like that just cause I feel like it'd be so much fun to share. Please don't take this the wrong way. I'm on your side through the worst days. I just have to say I miss my best friend. Seeing her smile, still I don't mind telling truth. Finishing off with all of this vacuuming, it always feels good to finish off a space with a vacuum. Nothing like lines in the carpet to say a clean space. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will keep making more sophisticated Saturdays, but until next time, I will see you all later.